Oh, very bright. I have no disdain or muttering this time because it's time for date night! Welcome back to New Soccer Wars! Date night! It's time to go on some dates. So we got the day off to rest up for the show tomorrow. We got promises to keep. If you go to bed without seeing the girls that you made a date with, you will lose so many points. Well, I should hope so. If you're making plans with all these fine ladies and you just leave them hanging, like, wow, what a douche. So not only do we have a couple of side things with other characters, we have bromides to get. Now, are these the ones you said that were attached to the dates, or are these completely different ones? These are completely different ones. Oh. We will get, we'll be getting uh, the specific date bromides after the said date. Oh. So, first we gotta choose another bromide. Uh, it's <gasps> gonna be today. Uh, we'll go with this one. She just looks mad at you. <laughs> like Did that. that that candid cameraman did not last, a f f like, mere seconds after that photo was snapped. Still here, making money. Are we, though? Apparently, she is. Okay. Like, we never know if anything that we suggest works or not. It just kind of does. You know what I think would sell really well here? Gas station style big gulp cups with specific girls on them. That would work, actually. Like, those collectible cups. Collect all seven! Yeah! And lo and behold, oh, wow. How the hell did she get that? I don't know, but we got it. Okay, well, I lost my train of thought, so off to a date. All right, Azami's uh, little date is inside. We'll deal with her later. First, we got one bromide out here. It just happens to flow by. Hopefully. There we go. Why is it so bright? Should be uh, by the stage they're using for the Christmas show here. And there it is. Oh, it's going to be an outside show? Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, I see the blue Oh, wow. Hello, beautiful. Oh, damn it. She's not in this game. That makes me sad. <laughs> You're leaving, Anastasia? Oh, that's too bad. We'll, we'll go and hire her. Oh, no, wait, she's dead like everybody else. Fuck! Well, we can still hire uh, a dead girl. Right? If I retcon everything hard enough, sure. All right! Aw, the snow. Nice winter colors. Like, that, that bit of snow is the only thing that indicates <laughs> it's winter. That's Koi Koi saying that Arthur is now available. Uh, T mm -hmm. was... Yeah, it was, it was a little tough. Not too, not too bad, though. Oh! By well, the fortune teller, we got another bromide, which is... <gasps> Shinjiro hey! Tiger! Yeah! How's it going, Tiger? Tiger! <laughs> Tiger! Tiger! <laughs> How's dead feel? Oh. Hello? Got a couple things to do here in Shenlong. Hey, go away. Uh, welcome to Dragon Shank, home of the lovely Dragon Shank. How would we like to shank you today? What frustrates me most about this game is that these characters are so set in their cliched ways and their tropic attitudes that they will never budge from them at all. So, you need something? How about a new kind of fried rice? Something to spice things up, you know, get 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 the menu all, all, all shaped up, you know? Yeah? You know, I've been trying out a couple different dishes at home just to, you know, have to learn how to cook by myself and not accidentally kill myself like I did that one time with bad shrimp. Mm. But, uh, let it be known that andouille sausage goes with everything, and I think chopping it up nice and fine and putting it in fried rice would make it out of this world good. 
Well, that sounds great, but he's like, nah, I'm gonna keep my dragon fried rice. I'm not saying to get rid of it, just get a new fried rice. You know, something else. Maybe something that has, you know, a bit, a bit more of a spicy feel, or something that's got, you know, more spring-like vegetables in there. Something. Maybe not even have fried rice. Make like another rice dish, like 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 omu rice. You have a certain, you have a guaranteed customer if you get one of those. Or maybe like onigiri, something like that. And maybe like an egg dish or something. I don't know, but no, I'm just like, oh, we gotta keep the fried rice because the fried rice is great. You know, I when when we're allowed. I kind of want to hit up, like, a Japanese-style restaurant with you, just so we can try out a bunch of different things. Onigiri, eel, sushi, oh, of all I kinds. Oh. You ever had octopus? Not yet. Uh, I've yeah. had uh, calamari. That's about the closest I've ever gotten. But never, like, true octopus. There's, like, there's no character moments in these character moments. It's like, are you ready? We are ready. Well, that's good. That's good. It's good to know that you are ready. If you, you believe know, in yourself and you try hard enough and you be confident, you, everything will be all right. Why don't we invite our new combat review buddies like out for sushi? It's like, hey, nice hard fought battle. Let's go get a bite. You know, instead of playing a children's card game with them. Koi Koi is a man's game. <laughs> I'm sure. Now, so I here's what I don't get. Here's Lancelot. Hi. Hi, Kamiyama. Didn't expect to run into you. Ah, surprised to see you in a cafe. <laughs> Nor normally you'd be at the park trying to kill someone. Aren't I allowed to go to cafes on my own time? There's nothing weird about that, is there? Yes. Hmm. Is there anything weird about somebody what? going what? to a cafe? Why is this a thing? Let me think. Huh. That's the wrong answer. I bet you anything. Do 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 do. No points. Oh. It's like what's so weird about? <laughs> so she likes to eat sweets in a place that likes to sell sweets. I mean. <laughs> Is, like, Kam is Kamiyama the type of douchebag that says, "Oh, don't eat that; you'll get fat." Like if she was in a see. like if she was in like a tobacco shop, that would be strange. Okay. Yes, yes, that would be interesting. That would be unexpected. It's like, oh, I, I've never expected. And she pulls out a corn cob pipe. Is like, what? Well, what's what's weird about it? Whoa! <sighs> you know, if she was actually the type of sophisticate who had one of those like old-fashioned clay pipes, I I'd be kind of down with that. She's asking me if I want to go somewhere, and I'm like, I, I guess so. Oh, sure. No. That was a joke, though. No, he said the thing. Oh no. Well, that was a lot of nothing. Kamiyama, you've lost your fedora privileges. All right. All we got left are the are the dates now. So I guess we'll start with yep. the bottom, D bitch. <laughs> What's up, low tier? How you doing? This is another good part of the game because this bit with Sakura here is all we're gonna see of her today. All right. Summertime surprise. Hey. Aren't you cold? See, look, it looks the exact same as it always does out here. Uh, there's a little little hint of supernova, and the fact that everyone is gone means she rented the entire park for us. I thought we, we didn't have any money. You can afford that? I pulled some strings. Oh, what kind of strings do you have to pull? Isn't she, like, a big superstar? Like, everybody knows her and shit like that? Aw, you look now, so good in pink! Now, okay! I like this. Here she is, trying out clothes and all that, and she's got this this nice dress. I like her in that. Aww. It, it's, it's, it has personality, and it seems like that she's trying to be her own person instead of always trying to be Sakura all the goddamn time. <laughs> well, it is pink, you know, the flavor of Sakura, so I, I kind of like what Kamiyama's got going on, unless that's his regular uniform, and I just can't that's tell. That's his regular uniform. Oh, come on, dude. 
But she looked like an actual modern woman, like who actually has thoughts and dreams and aspirations and a personality instead of, I'm gonna be just like Sakura when I grow up! I mean, I mean hey, it's lovely! It, instead of having thoughts, she's just having thoughts, you know what I'm saying? That's really cute. You actually look like a flight attendant instead of a now, samurai. Now just watch. Every date I go on is going to be like, Did you see Sakura in her new dress? Oh, I liked it a lot. It was great. Yeah, Fuck! she's great, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. This is what happens when I give compliments to people. Shinguji. We still got to bring Sakura Shinguji up in this <laughs> shit. She just can't let anything go. Well, don't you know? This is a Sakura Shinguji special. This is what she wore when she turned 12. There need to be more 2D moments, I think. Because the 3D doesn't add as much character as they think it does. No, this right here, this is what I want! And she didn't even buy the fucking thing! Well, I don't know, there's something about trying on something you can't afford. <laughs> it's not like she couldn't afford it, I mean... <laughs> I like kimonos best, she says in her swimsuit. <laughs> well, you know, kind of improves the moment, I think. Although traditional kimonos, nothing wrong with those. So here's the game again, trying to force Sakura on me. You know, I had a great time in this date, she says. I love spending time with you, he says. So Go I'm in trying... for that smooch. No. No, no. Go in for it. Plant one on her. What's up? He's about the whole. No, no, it's it's still like yep, 10 a.m. Right babe. there. Uh, <laughs> I would love it if Kamiyama just takes <laughs> right, a look at his go. non-existent watch. What, what do you think other people think of us when they see us together? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we look like brother and brother sister. And sister. <laughs> <laughs> And then you can just see her entire spirit just deflate and leave her body. God, can you can you put in a sound effect of a mirror breaking? Because <laughs> that's about what we heard there. <laughs> entire outlook shattered. Sakura, you're way more than just a pretend sister to me. You're practically my cousin. You're the cutest sister I ever could have wished for. Wow, that actually got points? I thought we, like, ruined her day. She's a fucking freak, man. <laughs> yeah, great. Now go away and leave me alone for the rest of the day. <gasps> See, that's an outfit that looks adorable. Look at that. Yeah, it's just sleepwear. I mean, come on. That's cute! Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. Why All do right. I get... What, bench, bench, <laughs> please. Alright, I, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, oh, peace. Fl I, flower I bed, got, fl I got okay. other girls to woo. Go. I mean, I, Tom, I got places Kazibo, to be, man. Please, get me out of here. Alright, All right. who's next? Yeah, who's next? Uh... uh Claris? Yeah. Maybe? We'll go, with, uh, we'll go with Anastasia's date. Okay. She at the theater? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Every time the camera's on her, it's just like, what are you wearing, miss? Are you even wearing anything? Excuse me, I didn't know I had a date with an exhibitionist. Hell yeah! Like, I just want to get her a jacket. <laughs> she had to sell the rest of her clothes to go on this date with us. Maybe even, like, a breast reduction surgery. Excuse me, honey, I think you would love this amazing parka. <gasps> 2D? Oh yes! So we're watching a Christmas kabuki play, and the, the white fox in the play chose us to put the star on. How convenient! I'm glad I slipped him a 20.
So is this an actual fox, or is this just somebody in an outfit? It's a kabuki play. Oh, okay. See, just imagine an actual white fox being on stage and just, like, staring directly at us. So this is a pretty nice moment, you know. Yeah. It's very, very Christmassy. I like the tree that they got here. It's very nice. I like the idea of the wedding ceremony angle. That way she can throw her bouquet that is just a giant metal star into the crowd. See who catches Shut that my one. eye! Aw, oh, you have good luck for your marriage. Congratulations! Ah, I'm so happy! Ah! Oh, zoom in. Oh, that, that's it. Oh, well. That was a bit jarring, but... Live a happy life if you're going to be leaving our family, but know that my protection and my good graces will always be with you. That's adorable! The wrong one is leaving! Damn it! It was a bit hot in there, so I got back into the swimsuit. I hope you don't mind. How can it be that her swimsuit shows off less of her cleavage? Anastasia, I had a now, lot of- Now, that's oh a great God. outfit! Holy that shit! Is, that is so hot! How God, is that I, not your default outfit? I don't get I, it! I love evening wear! God damn, that is so good! It's graceful, it's elegant! <laughs> it's sophisticated, <laughs> God damn it! It fits your personality trait! <laughs> Too close, too close. Anastasia, today with you I had a lot of fun, bags. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I think we're going to be breast friends after this. Damn it! I can't! Dude, don't be such a tip. Hold on, I think you need my jacket. It's a tad bit nipply out here. I mean, fu fucking... Da. Well, we've had some wonderful memories here tonight. <laughs> memories! Memories! Oh my god, I was taking a drink. Kamiyama, please. Warn me when you're about to go into actor mode. I'm not fit for marriage. See, I'm very, very promiscuous. You're like the fifth man I've had this week. Okay, bye. There are there have been other combat reviews, haven't there? There's somebody else. Arthur walks by. Is like, hey, sup, Anastasia? My place, eight o'clock. Okay. What? Unfair. Well, see ya. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, uh, let's do Claris next. Ah, this should be good. Oh, Margaret is there. Oh, there's all of our friends over there. Anyway. All of our amazing friends. You don't want to talk to the, the small one? Nope. Hello, Clarice. You're by the bookstore, which does not surprise me in the slightest. What are we going to do today? Clarice, are you wearing the bathing suit equivalent of a garter belt? Ooh, aquarium, okay. <gasps> aquarium? Aww. That sounds lovely, actually. Go, go to the right one, aquarium could be a badass experience. Dude. Or we can go to SeaWorld, okay. Badass experience with the Winter Wizard. Oh my god, I love that design. What did you get him into? Flipper, flipper, faster than Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Sea World. Everywhere you go. 
See, I thought you were gonna go, it's beginning to look a lot like Fishmas, and then we'd have to have words. Alright, Kamiyama Dunk! Oh my god, you're gonna dunk on the dolphin? I'm gonna dunk this present through a hoop, and it'll <laughs> deliver it to people. I don't, I don't, they didn't really explain it too well. No, so they, no, they didn't. So there's not a lot that they're showing here. It'd be better if they had a, a more of an animated 2D segment or put this in 3D, but they just... They could have done so much more in this game, and there's just stuff they just didn't do! Like, if I were to see in full motion 3D Kamiyama pulling a Space Jam with a present in a... in a dolphin tank... DUDE! Yay. Wow, wow that was a, a hell of a cutaway! What a great memory of something that totally happened. Like, how do we get into the situation? Does Claris know the people at the at the aqua park? Does she like fish? Does she like to to play with dolphins sometimes? Did she read about it? Like, it's it's just oh, we're in an aquarium now, and she's doing that. It's just there's no connection. All we know about Claris is books, 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 books. That's it, books, and her and her book magic that seems to have, to have not popped up anymore. It seems. Well, you see, she read about being a dunk master, and so she decided to try it at an aquarium. Yeah, we looked like a pretty nice couple. Couple of losers. <laughs> Ooh, what a line. That's not bad either. Smooth criminal. Yeah, that one worked pretty well. Yeah! Saying he's out of her league? Damn, I didn't know we had game. Slam dunk game! Space Jam! <laughs> You've got as much game as a book. <laughs> you know, I still like the slam dunk angle. Like, when do we throw Claris into a basket? <gasps> oh, look at you! It's okay, it's not bad. All right, next. All right, peace. <laughs> oh, who next? Hatsuho yes. is next. Yes, yes. Oh. Hello. Where the hell are you taking me? We're going to an axe-throwing center. I want to teach you how to throw axes. This is another time I'm very disappointed because we're doing the one thing we know about Hatsuho. Oh, are we going to a shrine? Oh! Cool! There's a there's a festival in her town and we're taking part. Okay. Well okay. I'm okay with this. Yeah, at least she's happy. That's that's what's most important here, but I kinda of want to pan up just to see her happy face. I don't care about like no, we will. We're, here. We're, we're zooming out here. Okay. There we go. Ah, there we go. Slow pan upward. And Excellent. Suit face. And suit face of happiness. Oh, I see a smile. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Sup, girl? Oh, that's a fun change on her outfit. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> I have sinned too much. This is an affront to God, I'm sorry! <laughs> See, I always love these scenarios because everybody gets into the spirit. Like, nobody's a Debbie Downer around Christmas.
This is... Well, we've had some pretty good dates so far, I mean... I know! Where I did these characters we, come from? I don't even remember what we did with Sakura. I, I really can't remember. We took a walk! We took a walk. We saw a beautiful uh, theater production with Anastasia. We had a great time at the festival with, Hats with Hatsuho. We, we went to a... To a... To a water show at an aquarium with Claris, which was kind of weird. And we just took a walk with Sakura. Well, we were her pack mule for shopping purposes. Oh yeah, we went shopping, that's it, so... <laughs> Alright! Now game, don't disappoint me. Let me see that awesome Hatsuho bromide. Please. You make a pretty cute Santa. Oh my god, did you ever! That's Azami's move. For honor. Well, at least she had fun, I guess, so... There we go. I was, I was waiting for the chime. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're just, we're, we're just having fun with our, with our teammates here. Nice relaxing date before uh, before the big Christmas show. See, why isn't there more of this? I love this. Because it has to be about Sakura. <laughs> Damn, I like that too. Yeah. I never thought you would look good in stripes, girl, but damn, you're making it so work. I should, so I should mention the loungewear that we've been seeing in these bromides. Oh, cut DLC. Their costumes. Oh, really? Yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! Alright, we gotta do a zombies little thing, and there's a couple bromides left to get. Okay. Ooh, hello girls. A lot of people in here, I'm noticing. That's good, bring in the money! Butts and seats. Alright. Uh... Oh, really, the there's one in here? For like the first time ever, nobody's in the stinking bath. Oh, finally. Ah, uh, time for us to take a bath for once. Lobelia Carlini. Damn! Whoa! Ho, oh, that's steamy. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit, they were dressed normally, and I'm like, ooh, man, tone it down. See, it's, it's about passion and romance and charm, not just titillation. Aha, he did it. He brought it back. It's about being serious, though! <laughs> I know, I know. Alright, Zami, talk to me. Where are we going? We should have started with this because she would have brought us out into yeah. the, the town. Well, that's alright. It's all about routing, dude. Don't you know how to speedrun these dates? How the hell do you speedrun this game? Skip everything? I don't know. Do you need to get down that low? I want to be Santa Claus. Oh. Hey, okay. I mean, Hatsuha was Santa Claus, so hey, that sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. I mean, if Jack Skellington can do it, you can too. I'm already in it. I mean, come on! Ninja Santa? That sounds awesome! I'm on board! I, I could just see Ryu Hayabusa dressed as Santa, and instead of throwing shuriken, he's throwing presents. With shuriken in them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a ninpo spell got lost in one of the presents. Oh, thank you, Santa Hayabusa. It's a fireball. Just what I wanted. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Christmas manju, huh? Shove it right in your face. Whoa. 
God, we were a pack mule for a second girl? <laughs> well, at least we're actually buying stuff. Well, that's true. Sakura didn't even buy the damn dress. I don't deserve a dress like this. It looks too good on me. Well... But let's just say we need to touch up your wardrobe, honey. Am I overcome with holiday spirit? Well, seeing as how we've got three copy-pasted trees here. Uh, well, uh she likes manji, so... Ah! So I'm thinking if I just... Th this... Oh, Seijiro, you stupid. <laughs> no! 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 Excuse me? No! Wait, that uh. worked?! How in the fuck did that work? I have no idea, but it did. Okay, whatever. <sighs> okay, so I may have read that incorrectly. Did he say angle or angel? Angle! Okay, because it's a static image, you can kind of take that the wrong way? Kamiyama, you stay at least 15 feet away from her, okay? Social distance, but for different reasons. Again, at least she's happy. Got a good time. Oh my god! She's got a peanut. Pajamas. And she's- Oh, throwing a lot of- Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Amazing. Alright! That's all our plans. And now, there's one more thing. <gasps> you will get an extra scene when you go to bed from the girl who has the highest amount of trust. Fuck. Oh my god. Please tell me. Please. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna Please. be? Oh my Who's god. Who's it gonna be, dude? Stop. Oh. We've been doing real good. <laughs> So please, give me that redhead. Come on. Whoever has the highest trust with us, the highest relationship level, is going to be visiting our room tonight. Give me the goods. I'm not even going to cheat by looking ahead in the video scrubber. Is it going to be Hatsuho or is it going to be Sakura because she just can't get off of us? Come on. Or is it going to be a zombie and something Give me what I field? want. Give me what I want. So at first I thought I stood these two up, like they're waiting for me. <laughs> but no, oh, it turns out... Oh, right, out we have to fight them. These, this final round is gonna be... Oh no, what happened? Ah! Intrigue! Why does my chest feel tight? No, oh, I thought somebody was, like, laying on me. Because I'm thinking about her. What is she up to right now? Come on! Come on! A knock at the door. If this is a dream, I'm going to be very angry. Yes! 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 Oh my god! Yeah, I know. Brush yourself off, because this is going to get hot. Yeah, even though I just saw you today and we went to a festival and I'm all hot and sweaty, I just, I really, I really missed you. Did you miss me or something? Every waking moment of my goddamn life. Yes! Sp spare time! I've got all the time in the world! Let's do something! Yes! I will make a 25th hour in the day for you, goddammit! I'm really tired, though. No! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> See, you're the type of gamer that would blue ball me for this. <laughs> nah, I would do that if the game didn't blue ball me enough. Okay. <gasps> oh, it's time stroll. for a Ferris wheel scene! 
It better shut off when we're at the highest point. It's perfect. Like these type of lovey-dovey cliches, I love them. I don't care if they're overused. I mean, if we get some use out of this gigantic Ferris wheel that we can't use any other time. It's steam-powered. It'll fail, trust me. Yes! There's a problem, though. Oh, you're afraid of heights, aren't you? Severely. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, girl, why'd you suggest this, then? Oh, here, let me help you. What if I... What if I put my legs around you and then try to, like, pry you up off the seat? How is it, how, hold on. What if I oh, blast your character song so work. I can't hell I can't tell what your dialogue is saying? How about if I clip your neck with your swimsuit there? Just now found out you have a fear of heights. Well, all right, that's good. <laughs> what a way to find out. <laughs> uh, all right, we, we gotta calm her down. She's hysterical. Yeah. Right, right, okay. Right, right. Okay. Just keep your eyes on me. Just keep your eyes on me. Don't look I can away. Make the gondola rock. What a jerk answer. Just, just, just keep looking at me. We'll be there, all right. We Don't go. you worry. Everything's gonna be that's, just fine. That's right. All right. Just, just, just relax. There Take we go. Deep breaths. Don't have to look outside or anything. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Oh, maybe you should have rocked the boat just to see what she would do. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Well, here, just like, like, bury your face into my shoulder. I don't know. We'll figure we're something out. Not, we're not even halfway to the top yet. It's, Jesus. We're just, we're just gonna get even higher and higher. She's having a panic attack. <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh, you jerk off. Come on, don't ruin this. Be empathetic. What was the line? Don't treat me like I'm some kind of acquired taste. You could at least sit next to her. Try that. Don't look out the window! Oh no! You fool! You're gonna start freaking out. <laughs> uh, hate to tell you though. There you go. How close do you think we should sit next to her? Uh, probably like directly next to her. Good call! Yeah! She needs a- she basically needs a support beam. <laughs> yeah, how's- how's this? Am I sitting too close? I mean... I gotta be your ballast. I gotta keep her- keep her tethered. That's right. Trust me, hugging my right arm helps with vertigo. Don't worry, just relax. And if something does happen and we fall to our fiery deaths, you'll have me! I'll be the last thing you see. See you in hell. There, that worked out fine. Nice little okay. moment. I have to ask. Yes. Uh, depending on your points with the different girls, is it all the Ferris wheel or are there different scenarios? This is my second time playing it and they're both Hatsuho, so... Well, maybe this will be a small investigative job for post-text. I'm going to assume that it's always a Ferris wheel. Uh, I'll be honest, that was really funny. But now it's time for the excellent Christmas show, and oh, now it's now it's snowing, now it's all Christmas. Why couldn't, why couldn't it be like this all the other times? Well, there's something romantic about a uh, gently falling snow on Christmas Eve. We had it this past year, and I was happy.
Hey, right, you guys still broke? At time of recording, you still have not seen the Christmas show for Sakura Wars 5 yet. No, I haven't. Am I going to be disappointed? Which means that this is going to... It, it, this is underwhelming for me, and it's probably going to do nothing for you. Well, we'll see. Maybe this will be my point of reference when we finally get back to recording Sakura Wars 5. Let's hope so. By the way, I'm having a lot of fun in this episode. Yeah, this one's pretty good. See what happens when Sakura is brought to a very, very bare minimum? And we have all these other characters to explore and have fun with? Well, seeing them actually doing something else is just a breath of fresh air. I know, right? Have them do anything else. We, got all, we have all these characters, <gasps> and we always focus on her. Ah! Look at all these cuties! There's only two people out there. Nah, I got you. It's a full house. So, Better, where Anastasia, is your cold, icy heart warming up finally? She's realizing that we didn't have the budget for these costumes. <laughs> Are these actual gold trims? Oh no. Oh no. Aw, she's got the motherly angle. She said she'll never teach anyone. She never takes on apprentices. She, friends are not part of her contract. But now, because we spent so much time with her, I guess, she's starting to warm up and she loves us. Oh no, Yay. we're family. Ah. Yeah. Now go kick ass. All right, let's see this pre-rendered cutscene play out. I can't wait for them to step outside and it's like, BOW IN A BOND A BANG AND BANG DIVY DUST! And now from our favorite musical artist, Slipknot! Ragey just starts playing the fucking electric guitar and he's just the crunchiest riff ever. Dude, that'd be fucking awesome. You got, uh, um, you got Hatsuho doing a mad drum solo. And Sakura, Clarice, you know, Clarice Sakura Clarice goes up, sweetly grabs the microphone and just goes, Hello, everybody! <gasps> the deepest guttural growl you've ever heard. <laughs> A zombie on bass guitar to shred now. Oh my god, this would be amazing. Anastasia, you're the backup singer. Come on, get out there. Hatsuho's moshing with people in the crowd. <laughs> Haru Saiton! Haru Saiton! Oh, heartwarming. Alright! Time for the okay. show! Alright, time for uh, Editor UDJ to put in the start of Snow Halation and then quickly end it. Time for me to mute all of Niskel's dialogue. <笑><笑><笑><笑> And now, for the first time ever, the Imperial Combat Review performing their new song, Santa is One Letter Away from Satan. You know, I had a straight preacher try and peddle that crap to me. I was walking around one day and a straight preacher was like, you know, I was like, Santa, S-A-N-T-A, -A, and Satan is S-A-T-A-N. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Because he's, he sits in a throne and he's dresses in red and he has... Like, what are you getting at, man? You're fucking crazy. Yeah, and he gives gifts to the good children of the world. Yeah, I see the parallels. So I don't care about what Kamiyama thinks, I want to see the show! We're not seeing the show, we just see their little monologue and then they... they... present a new product on an infomercial, and well, that, that's the show. Oh, here we go. 
Ooh. Oh, you know, I would have taken Snow Halation, actually. Snow Halation. Not from you. Not from you. Oh, finally, finally, you're going into the addiction known as Love Live. Uh, you, you keep dreaming that dream. You know, that was actually a pretty decent song. Weak. Weak! Yeah, well, I mean, for what it was... I got coal in my... Mac. I got coal in my stocking! And the coal was this fucking Christmas show! Oh, how underwhelming! How lame! Then again, I'm a softie for Christmas. Hey, look, nothing happened except for, you know, I think Anastasia got a few more points, so did Hato. Just, just minor trust levels up, that's it, you know, attitudes. It's next time on Soccer Wars! Anastasia's leaving! But why? <laughs> uh, well, I sincerely doubt that she'll be leaving, but uh, I've been proved wrong before. Why is she holding that gun? Wait a second, oh, what's no. going on? Hold on, wait! wait.